Hi everyone, I did something very unlike me and I made a impulse buy. I was on Facebook and I had an advert saying Scrollbox um, have some of their past kits for a fiver, five pounds. So I went and had a look, clicked through, which I normally never do on adverts, and found this particular one. Now this is from May 2021, so it's quite an old box. And so it was really cheap, so it was just to five pounds. They're normal, it's normally a subscription box. You pay monthly, you don't know what you're going to get. So I had a look at all of the boxes available. Most of them had paint and things like that in, which I don't use. So on this one, I had some interesting things, in, interesting things in it. So I thought I would unbox it on camera and we could take a look it back up the right way so this is how it comes so we have i take everything out because it's easier to see so i've never had one of these before so i don't know what to expect so we have the these bits and bobs um as i say it's from may look it's an old one i can't remember how much the subscription is and i don't like subscribing to something and not knowing what i'm going to get so this one i know what's in it so we have a little magazine I've, and it talks about some of the items that are inside the box and there's a interview with the featured artist of the month and some things to try with the items and a gallery of pictures and something about flowers so I'll have to look at that later and it comes with this this is a picture of the um with a note from the artist um that comes in it i think this is what you can create with the items and you get this little pad this is a cartridge sheet cartridge paper it's quite toothy actually but unreasonably thick and you've got it's a5 size and you get 16 sheets 120 gsm so now you know how thick it is and you get these this is what i bought the kit for now remember it's a fiver so this is what i got for my fiver little sticker i don't like ripping pretty things anyway there we go so what do we get we get a black currant and licorice sweet. Ugh, I don't like licorice. <laughs> it sounds a bit ungrateful, but this is a sticker of that that um, floral design it, with the sort of scroll box logo incorporated in it. That's interesting. And here we have it's got a little list of the things, it's like a bookmark, isn't it? Things. Now we have a pen. And this is a Derwent line maker pen. It's a 0.8 um, permanent, super fine, free flowing permanent liner. But this isn't why I got the uh, pack. This is why I got it. This is a, oops, a little tiny pot of liquid white coloured pencil archival. It actually looks like it has solidified in the pot. So that might not work and a little mini paintbrush but these pencils are why i got the pack now remember i paid a fiver for these and these pencils you can't get that cheaply so i wanted to try the positive pencils so just put this little sealed envelope and it's a selection of colors to make the flower so i'm assuming it's going to be pink and purple so we have these so we have a oops they don't want to stay in my hand do they so we have let's pick them up one at a time so we have this one which is they don't have a number a color on them oh it has it on the sticker but not on the actual pencil that's strange so that's lilac and light orange and grey and 
blue and fuchsia and blue green it's a nice one so i thought that was quite a bargain to get those six pencils for five pounds and then all the other bits and bobs as well but as i said i don't know if this is going to work we'll find out in a minute so i just get rid of some of these bits and bobs what i want to do is try the pencils out now i could swatch them on the cartridge paper but i don't think i'm going to do that those can be recycled it's not um i don't want to draw i want to color with them so i've actually grabbed this um but i thought we could do some um some of these butterflies with the pencils and just see how they show up <coughs> excuse me it'd be quite fun to just um do a whole butterfly in each color so that's what i thought i would do then we'll have a look at that liquid white afterwards so this is the blue green now i don't know whether they're normal these are obviously open stock they've got a sticker on whether they have the names on it's quite interesting anyway it's sharpened quite a square point um but i'll do my best i may need to sharpen them let's zoom in a little bit there we go let's do this one with this blue green color now obviously you're supposed to create the flower that's um in the um that's featured and i assume there's instructions on how to do that i didn't see any though sorry uh, there's some interesting things about the um pencils in the book it tells you how to increase the life of the pencils um uh, I'm trying to see. Oh, it says talks about pencil extenders, which is fair enough, so that you don't waste the last little bit. This is a very pretty colour. It's going on nice and smoothly. There we go. I'm going to do one with the grey. Um, and it also talks about putting, um, wrap, taping pencils together. So rather than buying an extender, you can just, I'm going to zoom out a bit. I think you're getting a lot of blur. There we go. So here's the grey. It's quite a nice, um, cold grey rather than being a brownie grey. It's not quite a nice colour for a butterfly, but hey. I'm not, I'm going out of the lines a lot as well. It's just because um, I haven't sharpened them. This is the fuchsia colour. Uh, we do quite big ones and you can see the colour. That's quite red, isn't it? They are really smooth. I'm really they go a little bit sticky if you press too hard like a derwent light fast does but they're very pigmented and very smooth this is the um blue so that's the blue green and this is the blue so we can compare this is darker they're nicely pigmented to press very hard I don't know how well they sharpen or what sharpener to use uh, it doesn't tell you in the page I was just reading the little booklet it doesn't tell you so interestingly I haven't found a sort of how to make the pencil, how to make the flower, which is interesting. Whether you're just supposed to copy. Hmm. 
It says um, that these are blendable, which I assume they would be. This is the light orange. We'll have a go at doing some blending in a bit. See how nicely they do blend together. Now, have I have always felt that these seemed quite expensive, but I think they have come down in price a little bit since when they were first launched. This is the, oh, the lilac. I'm getting distracted reading their little booklet, trying to see if it gives us any interesting information. Now most, I looked at a lot of the past boxes and most of them had paint. If you like paint it might be worth it, but then if that is dried up because it's old, then it might not be worth it. Okay, so they're all our basics. Um, let's do a blended one. Um, this one. What I'm going to do, I think, is I'll start off with this this um, fuchsia on the edges of all the wings, and then we'll blend it into the um, into a lighter colour. So we'll just fade it towards the middle, like that. This drawing is going to, this picture is going to look really odd when it's finished, but hey. Um, we'll blend it into this one, I think, into the lilac. I think that'll be the best blend. We'll start the lilac thickly up there. And blend it, wow. <gasps> it's just there. It's just done. Don't even need to layer it. Wow. That's amazing. It's just done. I'm going to do my grey body. Okay. Right, let's have a look at this thing. Let me zoom out a little bit. So you can see better. Here we go. So this is called Pearl Burnish Liquid White Coloured Pencil. It's a shake well. And I'm shaking it really hard, but I'm not convinced anything is actually moving inside the pot. So I'm going to just take the lid off and have a look and see. Oh, it is definitely liquid in there. That's very wet. Look at that. So I'm going to shake it again because it said shake well. Now this apparently can highlight and it dries to look like pencil, so it looks like a pencil, authentic pencil finish, so it says. Now what I'm interested in is whether it goes see-through on, I'm just going to take the brush, I'm not very good at using a paintbrush, but it's here for us, so we'll have a go. Now I'm going to, now I'm going to stand it on there. <laughs> I am Mrs. Messy. Whoops. See that I'm knocking over the brave and stuff. I'm gonna take a little bit off off of the dropper like that and just paint it on. My paintbrush is so stiff. There we go. Now what I'm interested in is let me just show I need somewhere to put this brush out. There we go. Now let me just clear that back a minute. I've got this picture here that I coloured and on the berries, see my end, you need to see right in close. Right, let me leave it across the relevant part of the picture. On the berries, I did a white line and it has gone pink because I'm just trying to get this pink brush working nicely. Ugh. Um, it's gone all nasty. Look at that. Ugh. Um, um, the, I paint put the, um, put the white on the berries and it's gone pink from, um, white posca has gone pink so I'm interested to see whether that's going to happen with this as well 
So I'm just going to apply it to a couple and see whether it still takes on the pink pigment. I think it is. I think it's going pink. Because I thought it might um, be a work um, well and uh, not take on that pink pigment. But look at that. So unfortunately, that isn't going to uh, work and look um, which was a shame that was what I was hoping it might do look at that I've got a bit of glitter on him <laughs> so no so that doesn't so it did does say sorry if that made you feel very queasy it does say on the um, look I just knocked it over see I told you I was a liability um, it does say on the um, booklet Way. Let me zoom out. It says down here, liquid pencil. Highlight and enhance colours to bring new life to your artwork. It dries to look like pencil, but here it says um, um sure it said it works better oh it was over in the back Hang on. in our tips page it's not that page there we go things to try it says the liquid white is fantastic to create intense pops of color or highlights or block out areas of negative space it can be layered over pencil but it says if there are lumps smooth it out with a small brush while it's wet can't work rework it while it's once it dries that's fair enough for best results use on top of wax based colored pencils it doesn't have to be but you may find you need to add more layers as the paper will soak up the liquid so the pencil base will act as a barrier once dry you can layer pencils over the top it can take an hour to dry don't leave the cap off uh, apply more pressure to the application of your pencils would intensify the hue but won't darken the color the best way to change the shade is to apply a darker shade over the top. And it says here, which is really interesting, Posca pencils can be blended easily, so don't be afraid to get a little messy and use your fingers to merge tones into a seamless gradient. Wow. Fingers. That's interesting. So I'm just going to put the lid back on this. So I don't know why it has this dropper in it. This is like a little dropper. would be quite a big splodge wouldn't it but that's that let's have a look at the pen while we're looking at everything um, I need to go and wash that paintbrush so here it is it's a Derwent line maker 0.8 take the lid off so it's quite a thick um, tip on there I think I think that will be let's, hang on, let's find something to write on oh, that's a bit shiny oh I know we'll right on the paper bag that's quite a thick line, I think. That's 0.8. That's compared to... Um, this is a Stedler Triplus Fineliner pen. Just a coloured pen. Look how look at the difference. It's a lot thinner. That's interesting. So that's quite a thick... Whoops! I'm dropping that. It's quite a thick pen. But because I don't use... I don't use draw... I might use that for just writing with or something, but I will see if my husband wants it too. So, just to recap, what we got was a very nicely wrapped parcel. So you've got a magazine, a, um, a cartridge pad, a sticker, an artist print, I'm just reading it, but with no instructions on how to produce that at all, which is odd. Hang on it tell us on here that tells us about the pencils and the pad and the brush and the uh, uh, so I don't know whether you go online and you get instructions on how to make it we've got a website um, it's a bit odd because I would have thought that you would have 
it would have told you what to do, how to make that flower. Mm. So I don't know. What I'll do is if that, if I'm going to have a look online and if there is instructions, I will put a link to it in the description. So go and have a look because I think it's a nice box of bits and pieces. But if you do want to recreate that, I don't think I could just do it without. Well, I'm guessing that this black area is all this pen. And then, you know, we've got the various pencils. But that, see, that there looks really quite dark. I assume that it's drawn with pen and then coloured over. Because I know that these Posca pencils are supposed to be able to write on all sorts of things. Look, apparently, um, this is a pencil sharpener. Look, I don't know whether regular pencils can do that. Though. I've never tried. No. This is a, um, a Prismacolor pencil. Oh yeah, oh, oh okay. Doesn't want to rub off it. No, it doesn't matter. So yeah, I think they can be work on glass and rocks and all sorts of things, but it looks like Christmas can as well. So maybe that isn't something that's so unusual. It's not something oops that I've tried. But anyway, I'm still really happy with that because all I wanted were the pencils and to try out and they look fab and their colour selection is nice just for doing all sorts of things really. I mean obviously there's no greens, but you know, it's it's a good fun set and I sure love once I've sharpened them, I think I'm going to have even greater success. So I'm really pleased with those. I shall play with this a little bit more. So say it doesn't work on the... Um, those pencils that I used for that were... Um, hang on. I'm just going to check. I know what they were. I'm sure it says on them. No, it doesn't. Uh, no, it doesn't tell me whether they're wax or oil. I'm sure it did somewhere. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. No, it doesn't want to tell me. So I don't know. But they were these. Um, they were these. Oops. Georgian classic colour pencils. I don't know. But I find certain brands of pencil, it's very hard to get a white pen to work on top of. But anyway, I think that's enough for now. So I have uh, um, talked enough, I think, about all these bits and bobs. But for me, I think that was great value, a fiver for those bits and bobs. But the original price would have been much higher. And, uh, you know, these pencils are expensive, so I think it was good. But, you know, if you want to have... You know, I don't tend, I'm not one for subscribing and getting a sort of surprise through the post. It's not me, but uh, it might be something that you're interested in, but we'll see. But anyway, that's me. Um, thank you for watching. It's quite fun, I thought. And, uh, and um, happy colouring. <laughs>